So what's going on you guys, today I'm going to be showing you our second last vehicle of the series. So yeah, it's the second last one unfortunately, not much more to go besides the Aqua little quad bike. But today I'm going to be showing you guys the technical Aqua, so this is basically the exact same as the technical. I mean it's got the mounted machine gun on the back and you can go driving at some slow speeds of course because you know this Karen Rebel just is really slow. So you can fit three people on it, it's exactly the same as the technical as I said, except what's nice about this car is that it can go in the water. So if you are to choose any of the two, if you are going to buy the technical, I would rather suggest buying the technical aqua because it's exactly the same thing, it goes at the same speeds. I think you just pay a little bit extra for it and it's much more worth it because you can go save your friends that are drowning at sea with this car. I mean you can go in the water and on land which is really nice. So yeah, you can fit three friends in this and now that we've gotten that out of the way to talk about the turns. Now, this is the downside of the vehicle. To turn on this vehicle to make like a 90 degree turn, it takes quite some time. I mean, if I want to turn around and I want to go back from the direction I came from, it's going to take like 10 seconds to turn back in that direction. Which is kind of annoying how the turn is really slow and then the other problem with this vehicle is that it's quite slow, you know. Um, I think Rockstar needs to buff this vehicle, the speed it goes at, because, you know, the speed it goes at now, it's it's just, like, sort of pathetic. I mean, it can barely go at, like, what, 10 miles an hour. I mean, it's so slow. There are other boats that you can buy that can go much more faster, except, you know, this one, of course, has a mounted machine gun on it, which, you know, makes a big difference. So what's nice about this car is that you don't even have to press any button to go into the water. I mean, there's no activation button which removes your wheels or anything. You can just immediately drive into the water because you've got those sort of barrels on the side of the vehicle, which of course lets you float in the water and drive. And then you've got the sort of boat motor on the back, which is really nice. So now let's get into the price range. So. If you haven't done the setup mission, it's going to be $1,489,600. And if you have done the setup mission, then you are going to be paying $1,120,000. So it's only a $300,000 difference. I know it's not that much, but why not go and do this sort of side mission? I mean, you can still be saving some money. So yeah, that's pretty much going to be the end of the video. I know it's pretty short. I mean, there's, calm, there's not much I can really say about this vehicle. I mean, it's basically just a car that can go drive in the water, same as the previous technical. But next episode, we're going to be doing our last vehicle, and it's going to be the quad bike Aqua. So it's like a quad bike which can go in the water. So I'll see you guys in that video. Cheers. Oh, just let me out. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, just let me out. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out.